hello everyone so today we are going to look into how to stack these uh, same type of items so for now i collected one stone and another health pack and two health packs and three health packs so if i go to the inventory so here uh, we collected only one stone so because of that we have a stone and when there is only one element it doesn't show the number and since i collected three health packs it shows the count here as three health packs i haven't collected any artifacts so there are no artifacts in the inventory so if i collected an uh, artifact two so this is actually a bracelet even though it's a cylinder so right now i collected it here under artifacts i have the bracelet uh, but that also doesn't show the count because i only have one of them all right so yeah let's see how to implement this stacking up same type of items in the inventory today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support okay so at the moment here now the inventory is empty so if i go here and collect uh, one of the health packs and another health pack ah sorry that's a stone and the health pack so here now it shows as two health packs so what i want to do is if i collect two items in the same type um, it should show a counter like two in here okay so first let me go to the ui inventory widget inventory item right here under this button let's add a text oh we can't all right so let's add a text <coughs> under the canvas panel where is it oh there let me change the number to two and curse just like the button i'll set it to the middle zero zero right fifty five fifty okay let's call make this a variable and call it count so variable right and by default let's leave it blank so blank means we have only one element of that type uh, well let's just say like that uh, make it like this for now because for the artifacts i don't think we need a count right now here we have the init item button function here i'll add another variable integer count and uh, if this count is larger than zero let's add a branch let's set the count text using this number we get here all right Uh, no, let's 
go to the inventory. Yeah, uh, when we initialize the button, that means here yeah, we need to give the count. But at the moment, we don't have a way to. We don't really have a count for any of the items. So how should we implement it? But from the inventory, we get items. We have this item array. So let me open the inventory widget, uh, inventory blueprint. This is in the type of struct inventory item. So to the inventory item structure, let's add another variable. Count in the type of vintage. Okay. Now and here ah, we already give the item data yes so we don't really need this extra um, this extra input we can just get rid of it because we automatically get the item data count here so I can use it ah, well actually if uh, count should not be zero it should be at least one so do i even have to do this check i'm not sure so for now let me just override it right and also um by default i'll set the count uh the default value to one so that we don't have to worry about setting the initial value right now when we add an item to the inventory so here uh, actually now we do it without uh, so we use this add item function in the inventory to add items and I think I do that I have used it let me check in the health pack when we collect we use get inventory add item and in other in interactable artifacts i think we are doing the same thing yeah pp inventory add item okay so in the inventory then this in here when we try to add an element an item First, we need to check if there is an element, if there is an item that is already in the same type. So, what we can do is um, be following this. We can run a for each loop. We can do that first. And here we can get class. Oh, no. let me break this we have item type count um, but this item type only says if it is a survival item or an artifact uh, we can actually compare the name let me break this here we are only interested in the name in both items so we can check if the names are similar if the names are similar that means we already have an element in the same type so if that is the case uh, we can just can we just set um, set the count? Yeah, can we just increment the count? Oh, yeah, we can get the count from both, 
and add and set it as the new count compile if we don't have uh, uh, yeah and also i think it would be better to have another variable item fault let's set item found to draw here and when the loop is completed we can check if we have already found the similar type of item we don't need to add another element uh, from uh, add another element add this item into the array only if we haven't found the item we need to add it and right also just because i said this uh, member i don't think that would be updated in this existing items in uh, items array that particular element because this uh, i think it only gives a copy of the reference not the exact reference i think so yeah actually we can confirm it here let me click on and if i go to the inventory now we have one if i collect again it still says one so i think yeah as i said uh, this count is not updating in here so what I need to do is before setting the member let's promote this to a variable promote to local variable let's call it found item and um, let's set the member in this local variable using this logic then also uh, let's promote this to a local variable found index right Oh wait, actually there should be an easier way. Yeah, we don't need any of these. What we have to do is, now that we have the index, we can, yeah, we can get a reference. Here we have get a copy and get a reference. So let's use get reference using this index then set the member in that particular index in that particular element in the index so now it should work let's see okay Right now here you can see we have three help packs and one stones and artifacts we don't have anything because I didn't collect any of the artifacts right collect collect okay now on the artifacts I have this uh, so if the uh, count is one maybe it's not necessary to show the number but for now I'll just leave it but if we want if you do not want actually to show the count if there is only one element all we have to do is this um, in here we can connect this Now if I click this stone, 
and help back. Now it doesn't show the count, but if I collect two help backs, it shows the count. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download through Patreon page. Link could be in the description below. If you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. Thanks again for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye.